because he's a betta, he's very territorial and will try to kill or be very stressed out by any other fish in his environment. So he is a smaller tank and it's just him. What about Garfield? Garfield lives there. <laughs> My name is Lily Deuce. I am 17 years old and I go to Communications High School. I think that people are definitely drawn to jewelry more so than clothing usually. Like that's something that people will always pick out like if you're wearing rings or something. People always tend to notice that. I think that jewelry is like kind of an underrated part of fashion as a whole. Like most people don't really acknowledge like watches and jewelry and like minor accessories, but I think they're a big part of the fashion industry today especially and like it's a good niche in the market that I like enjoy producing pieces of and there's like a hole for it so I could eventually hopefully make money as like a career. After she took her summer class at Pratt and she took jewelry making and jewelry design and she absolutely loved it and she said you know this is something I'd really be interested in doing for a career so but I knew that she I mean she was always creative since she was very little was making things and putting little things together and sculpting so I knew it was in her. Jewelry, since it's usually metalworking and like it involves a lot of extensive materials, it's very difficult to do at like my house or at school on like a small scale. I was able to make some pretty legitimate like metal pieces when I was at Pratt over the summer mm -hmm. but for the most part what I enjoy the most is just finding like random objects or like beads or things that aren't necessary, necessarily meant to be jewelry and just kind of like throwing them together and just wearing them in an interesting way. That's what I do the most often because it's the most accessible. She wears a lot of like things that are like, I guess you could say, out of the ordinary. <laughs> but I really like it. I think it fits her and it fits her whole fashion and everything like that. I think that it's cool to have like some meaningful pieces, some just like ridiculous things. Like I wear a lobster, like plastic lobsters, like toy plastic lobsters as earrings. I think those ones are more for shock value. For shock I just value. think jewelry has like huge cultural implications or it can just be like a generic accessory. So sometimes there are failed experiments. This used to be in a grid structure, like these were stuck together, which is hard to display. But these three were stuck together, so when you held it up, it made like a very nice diamond shape. But after I accidentally broke them, they kind of like, at first it was a way to make money. I was making, I was just mass producing like little tree necklaces and just selling them like 10 bucks each at middle school. I ended up making like $300. So I was like, wow, jewelry is pretty great. That was just the move for a little while. But once I was at Pratt over the summer, I, it like completely solidified. Like this is something I could see myself doing. And this is a market that I think I could fit into. I, there's a lot of art kids at CHS and I think she stands out, and it's really hard to stand out, so I commend it. And the stuff, I've, like the artwork I've seen her do is very impressive. It's just nice to represent myself with my work, and I just like wearing like funky stuff. So when I catch myself in the mirror, I'm like, 